The Ediacaran period, 635 minus 538.8 million years ago, marks a pivotal transition in Earth's history, bridging the frozen extremes of the cryogenian, snowball Earth, and the explosive diversification of life in the Cambrian. As the final period of the Proterozoic Eon, it witnessed the emergence of complex multicellular organisms, tectonic upheavals, and profound environmental shifts that reshaped the planet's biosphere. Time frame. Spanning approximately 96 million years, the Ediacaran succeeded the Cryogenian glaciation and preceded the Cambrian period. Its boundaries are defined by the end of the Marinoan glaciation and the appearance of Treptichnus pedum trace fossils. Naming and recognition. Named after South Australia's Ediacara Hills, where Reg Sprigg discovered its iconic fossils in 1946, it became an official geological period in 2004, the first new period ratified in 120 years. The type section resides in Brachina Gorge's Enorama Creek, distinct from the namesake hills. Tectonic activity. The supercontinent Panosha formed and fragmented during this period, alongside the Pan-African orogeny, which generated significant continental crust. The Ediacaran biota represents Earth's earliest complex macroscopic lifeforms, preserved as impressions in sandstone. Notable groups include Proarticulata, segmented bilaterians with glide symmetry. Petalonomae, frond-like organisms resembling sea pens. Trilobozoa, tri-radially symmetrical forms with uncertain affinities. Kimberella, a mollusk-like bilaterian with grazing traces, hinting at early predation. Habitats, thrived in shallow marine environments, with some adapted to deep sea settings. Preservation bias, soft-bodied organisms fossilized due to microbial mat stabilization and rapid burial in coarse sediments. Reproductive strategies, evidence of asexual budding and propagule dispersal. Avalon Explosion, a radiation event marked by sudden diversity in body plans, predating the Cambrian Explosion. Origins of Metazoans, molecular clocks and microfossils, e.g., Otavia sponges, suggest metazoan roots in the Tonian, but Ediacaran fossils like Kimberella and Dickinsonia provide the first macroscopic evidence. Ecological Innovations Transition from microbial mad dominated ecosystems to erect epibenthic communities, as seen in China's Lanshan biota. Post glacial oxygenation. Rising atmospheric O levels enabled metabolic complexity. Carbon cycle perturbations. The Shuram excursion, a massive negative delta cube C anomaly, reflects organic carbon burial or methane release, though its glacial link is debated. Glaciations. Episodic ice ages disrupted ecosystems but may have spurred adaptive radiations. Affinities of Ediacaran organisms. Vendobionta hypothesis. Adolf Seilacher proposed they were extinct quilted organisms, distinct from modern phyla. Lichen theory. Greg Redelick argued terrestrial lichen origins, but marine trace fossils contradict this. Extinction Mechanisms Cambrian Substrate Revolution Grazing and burrowing by Cambrian fauna destabilized microbial mats Environmental shifts Oxygen fluctuations, sea level changes, and nutrient crises eroded Ediacaran niches While most Ediacaran taxa vanished by 539 million years ago, some developed mineralized skeletons foreshadowing Cambrian biomineralization. The period's end saw Panosha's breakup, creating shallow seas that fueled Cambrian diversification. Ecosystem modernization, replacement of Ediacaran-style communities by modal, predatory Cambrian organisms. 
The Ediacaran period was a crucible of innovation, where Earth's first complex life forms tested evolutionary strategies amid climatic and tectonic turmoil. Its fossils challenge traditional narratives of linear progression, revealing a world of extinct body plans and ecological experiments. By bridging the Precambrian and Phanerozoic, the Ediacaran underscores the interplay of biology, environment, and geology in shaping life's trajectory, a testament to resilience and transformation in Earth's deep past. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.